What up, man? Mr. Martin Four Five back with another video, and in this quick video, man, got a couple more parts in for the Corvette. Try to get this stuff thrown in here. Also, about ready for paint. A couple of parts still to take off of here. Like I said, I hope to get this joint done by early to mid spring. That way, I'm good to go by the time all of the car shows start jumping off. So, man, got some new merchandise done. This thing's a little bit different. Change the logo up a little bit. Put the name and stuff on the back. Not too bad. Anyway, uh, got a couple parts taken off of here, so I'm still trying to get it prepped for paint. So therefore, certain parts can get painted a certain color. Other parts can get painted another. All right, man, so quick update. Got my sub in that I plan on going with. So like I said, I'm go with one sub. If you're new to the channel, I'll go with this one sub. I also have four inches in the dash, which again, my model didn't come with dash speakers, so I had to add them myself. Figured I was redoing it anyway, so decided to go with four uh, inch speakers in the dash, which naturally went with four inch speakers in the dash because um, bought these to go in the doors, actually had the size wrong, which again, if you're gonna order speakers, don't listen to Amazon and a couple of these other sites because they'll tell you one size and it's something completely different. So, I also was told that six and a halves fit. So, that's why I bought six and a halves. But of course, six and a halves don't work. So, made a template for those six and a halves to go here. And lastly, I put six by nines. six by nines in the rear, Close that. two six and a halfs in the doors, two fours in the dash, uh, which I plan on going with um, about 800 watts on the mids and, mids and highs, and this is what I'm going with. There's a sub, and I'm probably running a thousand watt on this. Massive eight inch sumo. It's an 84S. It's also what I have in my Durango. thousand just to have more than enough and we'll use all of that but to have a little bit more than not enough uh but yeah going with one eight two six by nines two six and a half and two four inches i already have my stereo in there oh it's lost him compartments in the back see if I could got to build me a box actually on one of those storage compartments I don't plan on doing any cutting on my carpet or the lid on my storage compartment to get this to fit so we shall see so of course this is the inside lining of one of the storage compartments so this should be plenty of airspace hopefully I can get <clears throat> the guy that I plan on using to build something about this size that goes in a little bit, so therefore have no issues getting that to sit down in there and let it sound the way it should. So keep you posted. So getting a lot of my molding pulled off, which this piece was bad anyway, so I'm gonna have to replace this. Still gotta get this screw out, get this pulled off. Um, I may pull the rest of the molding just so therefore you can get paint back behind there, back in that area there. I don't have to worry about that showing through. But again, I don't take it to, pretty sure he'll hit it either way, depending on which route I decide to go, whether I pull all of it off or I leave it on there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, outside of that, uh, what else am I pulling off? 
probably pulling all my lights off. Um, so we can get up off in there. That way I can just pull it up there. It's very little he has to do. Get it sprayed, not get all of the parts put back on there. Which that was the same route that I went when I had Durango painted, which I pulled all of my uh, weather stripping, a lot of my other parts off of there before I got it painted. So I'll probably do the same with this. I'll wait to get all the rest of my weather strip installed until after um, I get it painted. Which again, I probably pull all of these pieces, make sure all of this stuff is resealed, have him shoot those, and a few other things. But outside of that, I said these are some of the specs, which I'll drop down in the description where I got mine from if you were thinking about going with some eights or if you decide to go bigger, because again, you can get all of these on Amazon as well. But like I said, I went with the eights because I have two eights already in my Durango. They're running on 1800 watts. I have an 800 watt amp pushing my mids and highs. And like I said, it sounds decent for what it is that I want. But like I said, it's still pretty loud for what it is that I have in there. A lot of cats figure I have some 12s, some 10s or some 12s in there, but they're eights. So like I said, I'll drop in the description um, if you're wanting to get this one, they actually just restocked. I had to wait for a while to get some more in because the first two I ordered off of Amazon. Had to order one off of eBay, but they just restocked on Amazon, so I'll throw that in there. Um, I said, hopefully, you can get that box built in here, which let's jump in the video. Also, my hard wiring kit in for uh, my uh, parking monitoring mode. For my rear view camera that I'm putting in, which you've got some, some of the video to that, which I have a completely separate video on that. I just did a quick unboxing on my other channel, Talking Specs. Y'all go by and check that out. Uh, what else do we have? Because I'll probably wire this. I still got to mock up something to go with my factory mounting bracket because the way the mounting bracket for a lot of these Corvettes are, they don't mount here on the um, windshield, like most do, it actually mounts up here along this pillar post. So trying to make that work because I don't actually want to put it on the windshield. I want to put it back to where it's actually supposed to go up in here. But I'm also wiring this, so then therefore once my car is sitting, if someone decides, you know what I mean, back into it and they decide to roll off, It'll be recording that whole time, so I'll have that info. Also, if I'm out driving and there's an accident caused, it'll actually have that info as well, but then therefore I don't have to use the cigarette lighter to power it. I actually had the cigarette lighter powered up or had it plugged in when I was using it a couple days ago. Forgot to unplug it. You know what happened. Drained my battery. Not trying to have to deal with that. So, it's another part that I got. But outside of that, man, that's pretty much it, man. Just keeping y'all abreast of all the parts that I'm getting in, stuff that I'm doing that's getting closer to paint. Once I get paint, I'm still trying to figure out rims, which like I said, I want to go with a nice 20 inch uh, rim. Still with a little bit of meat on the tire. I don't want to go with low pros uh, or too low of a pro tire. but still want to have some meat on my tire. If I can have my wear, if I can find the, work, the right rim, I kind of want to go with a concave rim. So that's going to take a little bit more research. But until the next video, man, y'all stay tuned. If you haven't already, continue to uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. Until the next video.